Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly and I'm once again playing the game Night in the Woods and I'm very excited to be back because last episode a shit ton happened. We found out that we can play our bass in the room and play a whole bunch of new songs which you guys told me was a new feature apparently that was part of the Weird Autumn update which is really cool. We also went to the Historical Society with Greg, did a lot of lock picking and ended up getting chased by what May thinks is a ghost and Greg thinks was maybe just a janitor or a security guard or something like that. Still, it was really spooky and a lot of weird things happened. We found this like painting in the attic of a goat that I believe is from May's dreams. I could be wrong on that one or maybe it's one of the constellations that we see with Mr. Chazikov or whatever his name is. And then uh, we also had a dream, speaking of, where there was a giant cat god who told us that the world is basically going to end and everyone's going to be forgotten and it got really morbid and messed up and I've never seen anything like that in any of the dreams before. So that was really, really weird. But anyway, so. So I accidentally started playing the game without realizing that the game recording wasn't going. I had a talk with my mom in the kitchen. Uh, she suspected that I, uh, May was pregnant and uh, we denied that very, very quickly, obviously. Besides that, it was just a silly little talk. So anyway, let's go ahead. Let's continue into town. We should go to the uh, the old pickaxe and see B and maybe go to the graveyard, see if we can find more creepy clues. All right. Hey, what's up? What is up, Selmers? Hey, May. You all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Love your poetry, Selmers. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Haha. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay. Aw, thanks, Selmers. Cheskov's up there again. You ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh, no. He'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. <laughs> he has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. <laughs> you talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers, eh. Aw, poor Selmers. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Oh yeah? We should go do karaoke sometime, Selmers. That would be fun. What's up, dude? Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. Yeah? Okay, great. At least this time he didn't yell at me to, like, get off his property or whatever. Mr. Chazikov, coming to see you, man. We're gonna go do some sweet stargazing. I'm excited to find more Dusk Stars, to guys. I love the, like, mythology in this game. And I feel like because things have gotten so much more supernatural in this game, like, maybe there's gonna be more of that, like, coming into play. Like, the Dusk Stars actually matter. Me! Mr. Chazikov, you look a bit... Or, at bit worse for wear today, May. That is not English. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it, or no th- oh, you know it, of course. Come have a look. I never remember what <laughs> voice I give that guy. And she burned her eyes again. Oh, this time she didn't yell about it, though. Okay, I guess we're gonna go find some sweet-ass dusk stars, though, guys. That's gotta be one. Hell yeah. Right away. I think I got one. Let us see. Ah, guy with a banner or something like that. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. Knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So, what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of whatever he was from. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah, or not really. No, totally. I can, I can see people doing that. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. 
So, what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really uh, specific complaint. <laughs> yeah. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. <laughs> that was a good one. I liked it. All right. Let's see what else there is to find. I feel like we're getting close to finding all of them, guys. Like, look at them all. Oh, man. Like, we have found a majority of them, I feel like. All right. This has got to be one. Yeah. Found it. Gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Ooh, it's a crocodile with a watering can or a lantern or something. Adina Astra. Oh, I think Adina Astra is from the Lost Constellation uh, mini game, not mini game, but like prequel game that came out before Night in the Woods. I'm pretty sure that's her. I could be wrong. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. Yes, it's totally her. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. It was very into Adina, or I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head and how she was never seen again. Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died, or no, disappearing isn't the same as dying. Wow, that would be kind of, like, optimistic glass half full of May to say. I'm gonna make her say that. She probably went somewhere else completely. Wasn't she, like, on a quest to find her best friend or lover or sister or something like that? I can't remember. If you guys remember my old playthrough of that game, it was really fun. It was very cool, and it sort of had the same basic concepts and mechanics as this game does. It was a neat little supplement to this. And did all kinds of cool shit. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, so whatever. Oof, that's all for today. That was nice. <laughs> it was nice. I love doing those ones. So they, we must not be out of stars then. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Yes, yes. Okay, so Cole and Adina. Look at them together on that page. All right, cool. So I guess we get to continue on. Go visit town, see what everyone's up to. Maybe see if Lori's up on the roof in the other segment. Whoa, is that someone up there? No, that was a satellite dish. I was going to say, it'd be sweet if there are new characters up above. And we should probably visit Mom at church and also go down into the sewers and everything like that. See what's going on. Uh, let's first go to church like we normally do. I'm not going to check the bulletin board. Like, I've done that so many times and it just, I don't know. There's never anything new there. It's always boring and stupid. So, we're going to go to church. We're going to see Mom. We're going to maybe see Pastor K. Maybe see Bruce. Maybe Bruce finally has a home. I say that every damn episode, but let's, here's, here's the hoping. Hello. Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. May, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Aw, that was a sort of positive way to look at it, I guess, or sort of realistic way to look at it. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. <laughs> See ya, daughters. Aw, cute. Hey, what's back here? I never noticed this room before. Was this always back here? Or was this added for the weird autumn update? Well, there's nothing back here, but it, it's cool. I thought the wall just ended normally. I think that was a weird autumn update. See, so now I'm catching some of the weird autumn updates too. This is really neat. I like it. Whoa, it's everybody. They're all fighting because of Bruce, I think. There will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have pro poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring businesses into town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums. Oh, man. So they are really, really opposing Bruce moving into the church and apparently other homeless people as well. Oh, man. 
This is pretty, pretty shitty of you townspeople. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. Oh, man. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. All right, see you later, you grumpy pitchfork-wielding, torch-wielding townsfolk. Man, they really hate Bruce. Ugh, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was, is, whatever. It's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh, eh. <laughs> Sounds serious, I guess. So like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? It was in a dream, or I don't think it was a dream. Uh, I think it was a dream. I don't know. Maybe I'm voyaging to another land and another astral plane or something. I, I don't know. But God talks to us that way, right? Sure. Can you tell me about it? I was in this desert, or it was like the shore. Um, I think it was a desert. As far as I could see, we're like... All that was left of the world was bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it, but I was like drawn to something. And I came up over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. <laughs> yeah, a dune. And there was God just sitting there up on another hill or dune, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah, seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They, like, didn't care. They were kind of a jerk. They were kind of a jerk. I mean, more of a straight-up asshole. Sorry, can I say that in a church? Haha. <laughs> I think the structure can handle the shock. <laughs> they went on and on about how annoyed they were, that people kept coming to them with questions, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about how nothing matters or this giant hole. I say the giant hole. In the center of everything, growing. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes, or no, I've been hanging out with my friends. No, I mean, I've got friends. I've been with them ev every day since I got home. But, hmm, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. Probably since her incident. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I guess, or I don't think I believe in God anymore. Uh... I don't know if I believe in God anymore after that experience. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God for at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But. But you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe. In something you don't 100% believe yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believe that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor, and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there, whether anyone is watching, anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? Wow, May, getting really accusatory and existential at the same time. Really trying to get Pastor K to get existential here. This is a very uh, intense philosophical debate about faith going on here right now. I like it a lot. I really do. I have to go. Okay. Wow, that got real, real personal there for her, I bet. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Sorry for ruining your day, Pastor K. Feel kind of bad about that one. You're not a bad person at all. You're actually a very good person. It's just clearly 
Mei's having some doubts about her faith, especially after that crazy, crazy, crazy situation. That experience was like no other, honestly. Just a crazy dream. All right, Bruce, I'm coming to see you, man. I hope you don't have to live in a tent on the hill forever. Pretty shitty, honestly. Bruce? Ah, there you are, buddy. Smoking a cigarette as usual. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Oh, I bet he's going to leave town because he doesn't feel welcome and he doesn't want to take advantage of other people's generosity and make them, like, think that's what he's doing. I bet that's that's my guess, at least. Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor, after all. Folks need her. Why am I telling her this? Or are you leaving? Are you leaving, Bruce? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy, poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. I wonder if he's just saying this because this is his ideal situation and this isn't actually going to happen because that'd be really sad if this is just like what he's trying to convince himself of or if it's something he tells other people so that they don't feel sorry for him or something like that. I would hate that because Bruce doesn't seem like a bad guy either. And it would really suck too if like the vote in Possum Springs is that he can stay. That would really, really suck and he decides to leave. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss ya. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should've ever got to, but I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Aw. See ya, Bruce. I'm gonna miss you, man. You're a good dude. Really good dude. Wow, kind of sad now. I didn't think that he was ever going to leave. I thought he was going to get to stay. Actually, can we look at anything at the edge of the cliff? Nope, nothing at the edge of the cliff. So I guess we're going to head back into town, guys. We're going to check out the subway, check out the rooftops, see if maybe Lori's up there, see if there's anything else new that we might have missed. And yeah, hopefully there is because I love exploring this town. Aw, man, Tunnel Shark guy's not here. I miss the uh, the fishing poet guy. He's the best. And I wish I could steal another pretzel. I really, really do. But maybe the teens are out and about and we can talk to the teens or maybe Trash Boat guy's there again. Ah, the teens are here. Hello, teens. What's up? So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Ah, May didn't imagine it. She did not. Pretty intense. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Someplace called Mulvey. Mulvey? You know some from Mulvey? Yeah? Do you know where Mulvey is? Do you know what Mulvey is? No. I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? He doesn't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulve? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to go back, uh, or go get back in the sun now. Why? What the, what the hell is Mulve? No one explained anything about Mulve. I need to know more about Mulve now. What the hell was that? What was that about, May? You just got all paranoid and crazy. Oh man, well, let's talk to these dudes up here, talking about the smelters. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. Ha 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 ha. 
And she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true, we both danced on that table, nearly broke the damn thing. <laughs> Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. <laughs> hey, can we go into Miller's and do karaoke maybe? No? Well, screw you too. I wanted to do some karaoke. We can go back up to the roof here. And we can, uh, yeah, maybe go to the video outpost too. Let's see if Angus is working. He probably is because we have the option. Oh, that's right. He's just going to ask us if we want to go out to, uh, to the woods, I believe. So we're not going to do that yet. We're going to go back this way. We're going to check some rooftops. We're going to uh, maybe go to the old pickaxe after all that's said and done. But yeah, I just want to double check, make sure that I'm not missing anything out here on the street. Like this guy. Hey, you don't want to talk? You're just standing there, man. Fat pocket pawn. Nothing there. And all the way back to the church steps again. All right. Well, we're going to climb here. And we're going to go see Lori, our mouse friend. And hopefully Lori has some cool shit to tell us. Oh, violin guy's up there again, too. Hey, what's up, violin guy? I'm gonna be up there in a second. I just need to remember how to jump on things correctly. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Hmm, is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. <laughs> this guy's so weird, I love him. Just always says something strange. All right, well, nothing, nothing there. Oh, you can get into this window. I thought I saw it, like, it was a different color. Uh, so let's go in here. Let's see if there's anything in here that we're missing. Or if, like, the rats are still around. Or, like, is there anything else that I can do in here? I feel like there's gotta be. Like, there's this thing down here. Oh, it let me back in here now. I don't know if this is part of the weird autumn update or just because I, I, I found this before. This is so strange. I could hide in here until whoever lives here gets back and possibly give them a heart attack or get shot in the face with a gun. <laughs> what am I doing in here? What am I doing with my life? I'm sitting in a stranger's closet in a nearly vacant building. I could just stay in here, just forever be here forever. <laughs> Where does this person pee? <laughs> that's a good question. It's dark in here. Yeah, and that's it. All right. Whoever lives here is certainly a churchgoer. Five saints. Grandmama had a setup like this last time I saw her. Icons are good for keeping the good in and the bad out. This is the super important info I retained from years of Sunday school. In the end, Grandmama died while the saints watched. It was time. And they weren't saints anyway. They were pictures. Oh, that's sad. Pour one out for Grandmama. <laughs> oh, wow. Who lives here? It's like just a room. One fridge, one dresser, one lamp, one bed, one window, one door. I guess that makes two ways out. This would be creepy if it wasn't so spooky. <laughs> it is so weird that like someone lives in here. What the heck? Super strange. I was kind of hoping they would be waiting for us out there. All right, anything in here? No, nothing in the float, but I'm glad that we came in here to explore that like tiny little weird room. It's so strange that that even exists. All right, well, time to go see Lori. Hopefully Lori's up on the roof as well. Maybe we'll have like a bonus scene for us. And then maybe we should actually check up on Germ before we check up on anyone else because Germ, yeah, Lori's up there. Anyway, so we gotta get up there again. And uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe if we check on Germ, we'll be able to get another funny scene with him because he wasn't that bad of a, a guy after all. We got to go see the, the possum, Rabies, I think was the name of that possum. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty awesome scene, honestly. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. Let's go, you go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sounds good, actually. Yeah, hell yeah, let's do that. Oh, good, good, good. Let's go. Totally, let's. Yeah. All right. I like hanging out at the tracks. My friend Casey used to come out here and smoke. I used to smoke when I was younger. I'm allergic or... Oh, really? Okay, it was once I was younger, though. I was 12. Good age to quit. <laughs> I could vape. You could vape. I'm not gonna vape. Probably a good idea. <laughs> oh, Lori's so cute. Um, so do you remember the, the thing we squished on the tracks last time? Uh, yeah. 
What are we doing? Gonna make it flatter? Kinda, but no. You'll see. I'm gonna pick a new thing to squish him with. All right, then. Oh, are we gonna put, like, a cool pattern in him or something? That'd be really awesome. Aw, oh, yeah. Here we are again, hanging out. You know what we don't have around here? A taco place? Oh, that sucks. Man, I would not be able to live without a taco place. Serial killers. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'd vote for us getting a taco place first, but... Yeah, we never got around to getting our own serial killer. Although we do have a serial kidnapper ghost, possibly. You ever think about murdering someone? Like, okay, so a few longest nights ago, I went to Bright Harbor with my aunt and cousin, and we went on a subway. And, like, there's no railing down there above the tracks. And I had this sudden urge to, like, shove someone off of it. Wow, Lori. Very dark thoughts. It was weird, and I felt guilty about it for a long time. But, like, I didn't actually do it, so... I mean, is that normal? I think that's pretty normal. Yeah, to, like, have impulsive thoughts but not act on the impulse. That's how you know that you're human. That you have self-control. And you're not just animalistic. I guess you actually did try to kill someone. That was different, or... No, I didn't. Yeah, that was different, though. How? That was, like, not planned. And I wasn't trying to kill him. It was just a thing that happened. So, yeah. It wasn't, like, my first step. On the way to serial killerdom. Yeah, I wanna I wanna know what happened. Sorry. I feel like I don't know. I took a baseball bat to someone and it was bad. <laughs> like really bad. Alright, here come those trains going on by. Making a lot of noise. Squishing our thing. I hope it squished the thing. It's cool. You know what I like? Tacos. Pictures of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. Where the dinosaurs are watching it in the sky. Oh, yeah. That's like every single picture of that meteor. Weird. Wonder if they knew. Ah, oh, I wonder if that's foreshadowing. Like, we'll get to see the thing that destroys the Earth that the big cat god was threatening. Oh, there's those trains. This is so... It's so crazy because it seems so dangerous. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, I hope it's something cool, Lori. Yay! Oh god, your little dude's art. It like hurts my soul. It speaks. The art speaks, May. It calls my name. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, it was. I gotta get going. Things are like hectic right now. Oh, what's up? Uh, geez. Just like, be careful, okay? How so? Like, go home at dark. There's some bad stuff going on. Aw, May's like a big sister figure to Lori. I love it. Like what? Oh god, I don't even know where to start. Just like, be careful. Alright, thanks for the warning. About whatever you're warning me about. Don't mention it. <laughs> very vague, but very cute scene. Very wholesome. I liked it a lot. Laters! Alright, laters! Aw, oh, the squish dude got even more squished. He got super squished. Oh, he, she squished him together into a crazy, like, four-armed, four-legged thing. <laughs> oh, I talk about death again, huh, Lori? You and that, you love talking about death, girl. You do, you do. All right. Is there anything else that we can find out here? Just the old pickaxe. All right, let's head out towards the food donkey. Maybe we'll see Germ out that way. Maybe Germ will have something fun to do as well. Who knows? All right, video outpost two. Eventually, we're going to loop back around and talk to B. Although I don't know if we're going to get to it this uh, episode or not. I have no idea. Actually, I'm going to go up onto the roof from Greg's. We should probably visit Greg as well, since we've already done the historical society. Uh, maybe he'll have something fun to do. Hey, it's the newspaper guy. Let's talk to him again. What's in the news? Coyote wandered into a snack falcon out past Brittle. Just like walked in. Yep, sat in the sandwich cooler. <laughs> Did he eat a sandwich? According to the coyote, or according to this, the coyote just stared at the cashier. That's spooky. Coyote's a spooky animal. <laughs> Thanks for the local news, dude. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. Really funny that he like shares that with us. All right, there's smelters people again. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be missing out on too much if I just drop down here and then head into the snack falcon. The snalkin. Coming by to see Greg. Old Gregor. Sup, duder? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God, or I saw some space bugs. Space bugs! No, not space bugs. Like, not bugs. And not in space. 
like things beyond bugs in some place beyond space. I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kathy. Oh, awesome. She's the best. <laughs> she really is. She takes no crap. Boy, you ain't lying. So, what's up? Uh, just checking in or you want to hang out? You want to hang out? Got some date night stuff with Angus. It's cool. I might hit up B. Hit her the F up. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. So what's up? Or Okay, so just checking in. You have a checked in officially. I checked the... <laughs> Thanks, Greg. See you later, man. It's fun talking to Greg. I like talking to Greg. He's a nice guy. All right, well, let's head towards the diner and the food donkey. Let's see what else is going on here in town. I wish there was more to do at the diner. The Click Clack seems like a neat little place. They got pizza. And they got a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm sure is delicious diner food. I love me some diner food, guys. All this talk of tacos and diner food, I'm starving now. I'm ready to eat some food after this. Whoa, there's like a goat dude behind you. Let's talk to... No, goat dude doesn't want to talk to me first. All right, first, we're going to check up here by the fence. I want to see if there's anything at all to do up by the fence. Nope, just look up at the hill again where the freaky ghost guy was. All right, you better have something cool for me, germ. That's all I got to say. Hey. Hey, Angel. This is my friend, May. Hey, May. What's up? Cool name. Gracias. Much obliged. Angel's just in town between trains. Going west next. Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the golf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Have you heard anything about a ghost in town? Or have you met anyone named Casey out in the rails? I want to find out about Casey. Huh, let me think. You know what he or she looks like? He, he kind of looked like me. A little taller, orangish hair. Nah, man, I don't recollect. But I seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. I tell you what, I'll ask around. And if I find him or something who's seen him or someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks, that means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world, run by the worst people. And good men die for God knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Yeah, thanks again. What's traveling like? It's good, it's good. Never could stay in one spot. I have, like, the ex exact opposite problem. All right, partners. Time for me to shove off. She, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. Oh, see you later, Angel. You're a nice dude. Well, that's over. No fun? No fun. <laughs> Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost, Germ. A real-life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Oh. You got a dead brother, Germ? Jeez. Well, dinner time. See ya. Wow, Germ. That was messed up, man. All right, you just walk through the stairs. I wish I could do that, too. Everyone always walks through the stairs, and I don't get to walk through the stairs as well. But we should probably go see B. We should probably hang out there in the old pickaxe. And, uh, you know, maybe go to the graveyard. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to find out what happens at the graveyard. But we might end up saving that for the next episode, guys. Just because of the fact that I don't want to make these too long. Like, I want to get through this game. I've been playing it for a really long-ass time. And I'm very, very excited to get to the ending of it. But at the same time, I want to make sure that the episodes are short enough so that you guys can watch them without too much issue. So, we're going to go hang out with B. And at least say hi to her. Maybe see if there's any extra additional scenes inside the old pickaxe that we can go and initiate before we end this episode here. Nope, doesn't look like our worker guys here. So we're going to go ahead, guys. We're going to end this episode here. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Sir Piggly!